Well, greetings, test takers. This is Dean Tenney. I'm coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas, uh, TGIF. It's a Friday. I've uh, been trying to put up some uh, little uh, appetizers for you uh, test taking weekend warriors out there working over the weekend. And uh, so uh, what I thought I'd do is put a little something out on people struggle with, which is uh, opening and closing transactions. So uh, let's just talk about that briefly on a Friday afternoon. All right, so the only two positions you can have at a uh, broker dealer is a long position or a short position. And so if you want to establish a long position, the technical word for that is an opening purchase. And the short position would be an opening sale. And remember, you can either go long a stock or short a stock, or you can go long or short an option contract. So those are the positions you could have at a broker dealer. Now, in terms of your SIE, SIE test takers, this is more just recognition. And if you're a series seven, it's a recognition and a little deeper because you got to go close things out. Now, even as a uh, SIE, I would be able to perhaps do an initial setup. But it, options aren't as big a deal, certainly, on the SIE as they are on the uh, Series 7. So if we're talking about for options, for example, uh, there's only three things that can happen to an option contract. So we're talking about opening and closing transactions. In terms of closing the option position, we're either going to close it by trading the contract. By trading the contract. By trading the contract, what we mean is if we're long, we're going to do a closing transaction, which is a closing sale. And if we're short and we close it, we're going to do a closing purchase, which is uh, what this little uh, brief thing uh, we're talking about is uh, today's discussion, right? The other thing that can happen is the option contract could be exercised. And so that means you either bought or sold the stock in terms of uh, what type of uh, position you had. For example, if you were long the call and exercise, you bought the stock. Dollars out. You did a purchase. And if you get exercised on a uh, short put, you also bought the stock. Right. If you get exercised on a short call, you sold the stock. Long put, if you choose to exercise, you sold the stock. And the last thing that can happen to the contract, stocks don't expire, but it's possible that the option contract could expire worthless. Now, if you're a Series 7 test taker, I'm under no obligation to tell you uh, at the end of the question that you're encountering on your exam, what happened to the option contract expiration. What I mean by that is you as a test taker are supposed to know seven, not SIEs, that if at expiration the contract has any intrinsic value, the contract will be exercised. And if that contract has no intrinsic value, that contract will expire worthless. So you should be able to kind of know what goes in in terms of tracking the money. All right, so uh, here we are at a T. Lots of people do things different ways. So Again, as I always say, it's a buffet. Take what you like, leave what you don't. For what I mean, some people like to use the word paid. Some people like to use a plus sign here. Uh, whatever, you know, floats your boat. I like to use dollars out versus dollars in. And it's not so much, well, it is in terms of an answer set for series as I use. This is an opening purchase if I'm going to go along the option contract. Or, and so the opening purchase is what I'm going to use on here to establish or add to a long position. And so, you know, maybe on the test I say, for example, uh, your client goes long. By the way, the other challenge, remember, is on the test. I don't have to say long. I could say, I could say buyer. Your customer buys the option. A lot of words are the same thing. Uh, buys an Apple August uh, 150, 160 call. Apple's at 157 as we're having this little Friday get together. So 160 call at, uh, let's say, seven. And, you know, in terms of, I'm, I'm not lecturing options here. I'm just trying to get you comfortable with a setup because that's where people struggle. They are using their study vendor, whether that be, you know, uh, cap, cap one or pass perfect or 
Nopman or STC and what they struggle with is that, you know, that's going to be seven there. Now, you could put 700 there if you want. You could, you know, I like to do things on a per share basis, uh, whatever floats your boat. But the most important thing that we're trying to illustrate in this little brief time together today is that the offset of that, if they say you close it out, sometimes they don't say you sell it, they say you closed. And if you don't have the T set up properly, you won't know what that means, right? And so that's the important part here. Now on SIE, this is just a recognition style question. It's not so much, can you track the money? Sevens, you should be able to track this money in and out. So let's just put that over here. So if I am long this thing, this is in this case, an option contract, I'm gonna do what's called a closing uh, sale. And what I'm hoping is I got more money in than out. Closing sale would be used to eliminate or reduce. Eliminate or reduce means you know, if I have, uh, you know, uh, 10 contracts, I'm going to have to sell all of them. I could sell five. And just uh, be careful again, because even if this was a put contract, it would still be dollars out on the seven, right? And then you just got to know if we exercise the contract, how would that, would that look? And again, I told you, I like to use uh, dollars in. Some people like to use credit. Some people like to use a plus sign. You know, some people like to use received, you know, whatever floats your boat in terms of uh, tracking money. So, you know, that's how that would look in terms of the setup. Now, I would warn you again, if this, this is a call contract in your Series 7 and they say you exercise, it was a 160 Apple call contract. Well, then you'd put the 160 here, right? If it was a 160 put contract and it got exercised, I mean, you sold the stock at 160. That 160 would go there, right? May they say if it was a put contract, you buy the stock in the open market at 151 and you exercise the put. I'm just showing again the, the purpose of this uh, little, uh, I don't know what to call it, a little ditty is not to teach you options. This is just to try and get you more comfortable with tracking money. So that's the point. Uh, now, remember, besides going long, the other thing people can do is they can go short. And if I go short here, I'm going to do an opening sale. And opening sales are going to be used to establish or add to a short position. Add to means if I got five contracts, I can add. So again, we're not lecturing here. We're just trying to get you more comfortable with tracking money. You know, I always say to people where they're struggling, where's your T? Where's your attempt to track this money in and out of this account? So now we say on the exam, your uh, customer goes uh, short or sells or writes. I mean, that's a challenge. There's a lot of words to say the same thing. A Apple August 160 call at, and maybe we say uh, seven. So again, the point is that would go over here. Boom. And the point of today is really, I'm just trying to show you that the offset would be to go this way, right? You know, and then be careful. Like for example, this is a uh, call that we've written. And if it's a naked call, and you know, we're gonna have to go in the open market and deliver the stock. So if they say, you know, got exercise, that means I'm gonna have to go in the market and I'm going to buy the apple, whatever I'm going to buy the apple at. Let's say, for example, it's a 160 call and Apple's 175. I'm going to buy the apple 175. And then I'm going to uh, you know, deliver it to at 160, the strike. Right. I'm just getting trying to get you comfortable with seeing well, how this would look in terms of tracking the monies in and out. Right. So, you know, if you're struggling with tracking monies in and out, maybe you want to add arrows to it in terms of what's gonna be the offset. And then here, I don't have to put anything because we, we exercise the contract. But the main thing that I wanna share with you here on a uh, Friday afternoon is again, SIEs and sevens, that the way we offset or close, because that's the word. You know, the word that people struggle with on the exam is the word close. Close the position. 
And what we're saying is if you don't know how to close the position, you're just going to be staring at this thing going, I don't know. And so the way you're going to do the close, you're going to do what's called a closing purchase. A closing purchase. You know, that's if you're getting rid of the, the uh, short option position, right? By the way, it'd be the same if you were short the stock. You close it out by doing a closing purchase. And the purpose of our little visit today is that uh, for USIEs, this is just mainly an answer set. It's not really a setup and a closeout as much as it is for our Series 7 test takers. And you know what we're hoping is if we uh, trade the option for a good memory aid is T. The option contract can be traded. The option contract can expire. You know, the option contract can uh, be exercised. And that would be what that looks like in terms of an offset. And then what we hope is we have more money in than out. And so, you know, by the way, that might look different if, for example, we said earlier, I have to go buy the stock or do different things. This, you know, we could have two or three things going on our, our T in terms of dollars out and dollars in. And you just want to practice every time you get an option of your seven test taker, just setting up your T on your scratch paper going through your past perfect or not, min or STC or Kaplan question, and seeing if you can do a setup, you know, the initial money's in or out, and then can you close it out? Even on a, uh, a USIEs, depending on what the next leg of your testing journey is, if, if you were have a six followed by a 63, 65, you'll encounter options again on 65. But 663, 65 isn't gonna be, you know, options aren't gonna be enough to, uh, not take you to a successful conclusion on your testing journey. If the next leg of your testing journey SIEs is a seven, then it becomes 20 plus questions. And I think you would be uh, wise to uh, do as much work on your SIE as you possibly can, even if you're going 663, 65, because any work you do on the SIE will pay huge dividends in terms of uh, you know your next leg of your testing journey SIE test takers. So. Okay, so uh, we're just trying to show you these closing transactions. If you want, um, uh, smash the like button, but in the comments, uh, maybe you find one that you would like me to you know, uh, put it, show you how it works in terms of deep, be more than happy to do that if you want to put that in the comment box, if you find from, one from your study materials. Okay, so uh, the point of our little uh, time together today was to show you this answer set, which is on the test, this answer set is both on the SIE, it is also on the Series 7. And uh, let me just get out my annotation. I left it blank because any one of these could have been the right answer, uh, depending on your, you know, what you're being asked. And so that's what all the dots represent. An opening purchase, we've said, is used. Let me get a different color so it shows up. I'll put uh, purchases. I'll put purchases in red for money out. So opening purchases are used to establish or add to a long position. And so if on the test, they said which of the following would be used to establish or add to a long position, you would say an opening purchase. If they say on your exam, which of the following is used to establish or add to short position, you would say an opening sale. If they say which of the following is used to eliminate or reduce a long position, you would say a closing sale. And if they say on the exam, which of the following is used to eliminate or reduce a short position. By the way, that's my favorite one is a supervisor because that's somebody who's getting rid of the obligation. You now they're no longer gonna be a potential victim if they do this closing purchase. Eliminate or reduce a short position. Oh, okay. So uh, I was successful in bringing this in. I, you know, 
unless I, you know, I, I, uh, <laughs> let me get rid of this. Uh, I'm trying to do these little ones I'm sending your way. Uh, I'm trying to keep them under 15 minutes and uh, I have uh, fulfilled my mission today. However, that being said, you know, I'm tempted <laughs> to continue to roll and show you, you know, covered call on a protected put and track all that money out of there. <laughs> so that's all I can do uh, uh, not to do that. As I said, I'll leave it to you to find those uh, or, you know, look at some other uh, lectures where I've actually got a lot going on and we're showing you how to track money. So this is just a teaser, so to speak. And uh, kudos, stay dedicated, stay disciplined, stay organized in your study effort. And I know you will make your mark. Thank you, everybody. And I'll see you next time.